it's Carly and today we are in Positano on our honeymoon. It is actually our third day here, but we've just been enjoying it. It is so beautiful. Guys, our view, I'm on my balcony right now. This is my view. It's absolutely unreal. And then this is our own terrace. The last few days we've really just been exploring Positano. I did not take much content because it's Brian's first time in Italy. I've never been to the Amalfi Coast, but Brian's never been here at all. So we've just been enjoying all the pasta, the people. I've been getting so distracted by the boats coming in and out. This is the most beautiful day. And we're staying at Hotel Marincanto. So as you could see that little terrace area is actually still part of our hotel. I'm in one of our bathrooms because it has a hot tub and we've been going in here about four times a day, sometimes more. And this is what we wake up to. I'm wearing this green Zara. It's like a little mini crochet dress. It is the softest thing in the world. I'm obsessed. And then I'm just wearing a triangle bikini underneath because they're my favorite and then packed a little beach bag this is actually our welcome bags from our wedding last weekend but we got a sample to get them screen printed with block island where we got married on them but they didn't come back to us with the sample until two days before we left for block island so it didn't really work out but at least we got it for ourselves packed a little pouch that i actually just got this off amazon for reasons like this just so i have one place to put everything in and i actually just thrifted these sunglasses our hotel does breakfast until 10 30 so we are going to eat right now and then probably head to either the beach or the pool we have the most beautiful walk to breakfast there he is like what to the beach which is why we picked this hotel because we have our own path down to the beach rather than having to walk through the whole entire town it's the hotel pool the never-ending steps of Positano there's just no avoiding them but they're pretty kind of we just walked all of that and now we are at the prettiest view. This is unreal. It's October 14th and it is this hot. I feel like October really is the best time to visit. No crowds, still sweating in the sun. Cannot be more perfect. Starting a new book. I had it recommended on Amazon a lot for the other fiction books I like, so I'm excited to try. So staying at Hotel Marincanto is so perfect because you have your own beach club included with your price. So yeah, the hotel's pricey, but it's worth it because right now we have private beach to ourselves and we're not paying extra for chairs or anything. It's all just right here. It's so hot. I actually cannot imagine what it is in the summers here. We've just been sitting here, reading, relaxing. It's stunning. Bro is getting us drinks. This is huge. What did you get? Lemon. Good, but I like this better. It's literally a peach club to ourselves. Two other couples here, that's it but this is probably packed in the summers. Came to see what this cave is and it's just filled with showers. All right, we're going to get lunch. We got pizza at this place yesterday. It was the worst pizza I've ever had. <laughs> To be honest, do not go there. I'll, I'll tell you about it later, but do not go. That's it. Don't go. We had drinks here yesterday at this little ocean bar, Violent Canto. 
It was actually very solid, but it was a lot quieter when we were here. And they play cute music. After walking all of Positana, we came back yes, to Rada. Finally getting truffle pasta. Grazie. For the past six months, I've been telling Bri how cheap the food is in Italy. And then I brought him to the place with the most expensive food in all of Italy. And it's like New York City prices. This is like <laughs> No, it's like New York City. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Truffle pasta here is 40 euro. Which it is fresh truffle to be fair. There's truffle? No scallops? <laughs> it looks just like your scallops you just had. And an avioli. Lunch was delicious. We both split our truffle pasta and our avioli. It was so good. But it also was extremely expensive for especially the portions coming from New York. So I could get why people didn't like it as much, but it was absolutely delicious. The views were absolutely stunning. And now we're back in our chairs, just enjoying this gorgeous view. The breeze finally kicked in, it's so nice. We literally just booked our hotel for <laughs> tomorrow night, just now, <laughs> for Rome. We need to take a train from Naples tomorrow. So we also have to book that, trying to get a transfer to the Naples train station. But the hotels in Rome are kind of expensive. So we actually just waited for Hyatt points to show up somewhere. And we booked a Hyatt hotel. It was like 17,000 points, which is, which is a really good price, especially when the hotels are so expensive. So. Yeah, we're going to Rome tomorrow. Just showered, time to get ready for dinner and we're gonna watch the sunset on the terrace, which let me just show you. That's the view from the shower, from this bathroom. So that's why I keep showering in this bathroom and Brian has the other one. The Maybelline BB cream will forever be my favorite. I love this travel mirror that I got from Amazon. I'll link it below. I'm obsessed. Makes life easy because it just folds up and then I put it anywhere you need it like this. It is so natural this bronzer. Say dewy drops. Yeah. No? Where? What Nash? Well, let's go take care of this hair. Just got ready, came outside, and I'm cold. So I think I need to change, but I have the cutest dress on right now from The Concept. It's a drop waist. I have my little urban bag. I love it, but I'm a little chilly because it got windy out. So I'm debating if I should change or not. Maybe I'll keep it on and put a little sweater like around my arms. I think that would honestly be fine. But yeah, this is so stunning actually cannot get over it we got ready to watch the sunset on our tires early and it's kind of blocked by the mountains okay let's go get my custom shoes now now the sky looks prettier look at this view we're walking into the town area it's so pretty Just got some olives, some wine. I'm gonna eat on the terrace with this beautiful view. Brian. <laughs> Finally going to dinner. Going to Da Vincenzo. 9.30 p.m. I'll start with the eggplant. With the eggplant? Yeah. Walking back from dinner at Da Vincenzo. Favorite dinner thus far. The waiters were the nicest things in the world. The food was incredible and it was totally on the other side of Positano but not mad because it was a gorgeous walk and we're already back so yeah I'll end this vlog in the morning it's now the next day I just got dressed we are getting picked up in about 
an hour to go to the Naples train station and then head to Rome. So I wanted to show you guys what I got in Positano because I did a little bit of shopping and I got three like insane dresses. One of these stores was like one of my favorite stores I've ever been into. I got custom sandals as you do. Got a sweatshirt so let's just get into it. By the way, last night we went to Da Vincenzo. I think that's what it was called for dinner. Definitely something with Vincenzo. It was excellent, excellent, excellent. I could not recommend it enough just because of like the service alone makes it worth it even if the food was average, which it was not. Okay, but these are where I got the shoes from. This guy was also such a sweetheart that was making these shoes. But it took me a few days to decide what I wanted. I wanted a little heel as a little like throw on for the night. Custom, it's to my foot. They're so comfortable. They're such insane quality. And it was so cool watching him make these. Then last night we got to our reservation early. So naturally went shopping, <laughs> went to Nastro Sandali. I saw this dress and I was like, Bri, if they're not ready to take our reservation, we're going back to that store. And luckily we were too early for the reservation and I got this gorgeous dress just a long maxi dress the softest material then yesterday i also got a sweatshirt from positano because i purposely didn't bring any sweatshirts pack any sweatshirts for the way here so that i could get a sweatshirt here it's really cute and a lot of the sweatshirts here are like 40 euros sometimes up to 60 so make sure you go a little out of the central area like this was right across from our hotel and i got it for 25 euro and it's the same exact sweatshirt i saw it for 40 euro just like down by the beach i have one more store to show you guys brian's not a pasta person until they came to italy and i'm so proud this i saw on a mannequin in the window and was like i need this this is from cmv carly and brian i saw it and i was like we have to go in there but i then i also saw this dress and i was like i'm a thousand percent getting this dress i also got this dress that bry actually picked out he's like this one looks nice and it's just like this pretty material at first i was confused but then i put it on and i was like this actually looks great like this is an easy summer dress to throw on all the time but like i hate when they have like the tie straps but when you tie it in the back, it actually looks really pretty. This is the current situation. I think we're gonna go down, eat breakfast. Once again, this hotel is so incredible. Our terrace alone and the view, the water, waking up to this every day is so incredible. Between the lounge chairs over here, over here, and then where we were yesterday that you guys saw has its own, basically its own beach club that you're not paying 300 euro for for the day. It truly is worth it. Breakfast is included, which is also right there i showed you guys yesterday i could not recommend staying here enough especially for your honeymoon it's so worth it if you're planning to come to positano and we just enjoyed it so much what did we do last night when we got home from dinner we ended up going in the hot tub like we have been like four times a day but before dinner we had two hours it was like 7 30 our reservation was until 9 30 we literally sat here we went and bought a sicilian olives and a bottle of wine San Carlo chips and just like rested and had a little our own little aperitivo which was so nice so yeah I hope you guys liked this vlog I'm definitely gonna be showing more of what I did every other day as well even though I kind of told you guys about it on TikTok so go follow me there you can see my photos on Instagram and yeah I will probably vlog a day in the Maldives as well when we're there we're gonna be there for six days but i'll probably just vlog one day because you know honeymooning and then we're going to qatar so i'm gonna try to vlog while we're there as well if possible just one day while we're there so yeah i love y'all and i'll see you guys soon